Hey guys! So, this morning's been busy, uh, since I don't get sleep at all, um, I mean like, I have a freaking insomnia or whatever, but I don't get sleep at all. I was actually up at 3 this morning, but, um, Richie has some kind of, this company has some kind of FRG, which is like, just like a family thing, and, uh, we had, it was a run, but, uh, and, uh, I walked, but I went out too. But yes, Jedi, I got, I was so excited. You know, like, the the Hunger Games, uh, Catching Fire just came out, and I love this series. I've read the books, except for the last one, I need to read the book, but I've actually found it online, so, um, to where I can read it for free. So yeah, I'm gonna, uh, read that later, but, um, I got I, I love the movie and the catching fire like not a lot of people like the movie also I didn't really it was a really good movie but they missed so many important details in the movie that was in the book especially like, if you watch the movie and you've never read the book so you, you kind of will understand especially how it ended that's pretty much how the book ended and I mean that's exactly how it ended. Maybe not exactly, you know, staring off the distance, all angry, but that's kind of how the book ended. <sighs> it was talked too fast. But anyway, um, yesterday, cause uh, I wanted, uh, we went to Target, and I got the Hunger Games Catching Fire Special Edition, or it was supposed to be Special Edition, or whatever. But it was only twenty two dollars, which is worth it. But I love it to death and it does it's so cool I love the details on it but it's like a book it's so cute I love it of course this is the blu-ray disc which is perfect because I forgot with my ps3 you can watch blu-rays on it so like why am I getting this and I can't even watch blu-rays I'm like wait ps3 plays blu-rays but here's the second page that has PETA on it this is the regular DVD and um, of course you know you can't have a page without Finnick and this is actually the bonus disc, oh, not the bonus disc, but it has some special features on it, which I put in right now, and I just paused it. And it's paused on, like, the most beautiful part ever. It just, it's just of a, uh, PETA smiling. It's so cute. Just perfect pause timing right there. Perfect. But, of course, the last page, uh, has, like, uh, him on it. I'm sorry, I forget his name, it's whatever. I think in the, the third movie, third book, he's gonna have more of an important role or whatever, but if you didn't, were able to read it, um, when I showed you it, every resolution, revolution begins with a spark. I love it, it's so cool. And since the last game, something is different. The, okay. And then remember who your real enemy is. It's pretty much the little quotes that they did from the movie. The only thing stronger than fear is hope. I think those were little quotes and stuff they said in the book the book and the movie. But I just love it because as soon as I took it out, I'm like, well, I thought it was supposed to come with a poster. That's another reason why I wanted it so bad. Because I, I thought it came with a poster for some strange reason. I don't know what gave me that idea. But when I pulled it out of this, I mean, I was so happy. I'm like, oh my god, it's like a book! Because I swear to god, it even has like the little spine on it. As like if it was a book, as soon as you open it, it sounds like a book. Yeah. But it's just so amazing. And I love the detail on it. The detailing and the pictures is just, ugh. I feel like she's going to shoot me in the face. It's amazing but I love it so much like you see all their like you can, especially on a film uh, you can see like the hairs I swear to god you can count the hairs on his chin like I swear to god you can oh my god I think I'll do that later I mean you can count like every hair oh my god yeah Especially, no, Peta, he's not, well, he's growing like a little stub here. But with Finnick, he's growing like a little mustache and shit there. With Peta, he's like a clean little baby face there. He's clean. He has nothing there to count. Maybe I'll count his eyelashes. 
<laughs> At least there's nothing on a on her. I don't want to cut her. I don't want to count her armpit hairs. <laughs> but um, hi Ed. He's a little bit more social. I know my neighbors came over yesterday, and what baby? It's like no camera. <laughs> But my neighbors actually came over, and usually when she brings her son over, he hides. Hey, you leave her alone. Oh, yeah, I got another cat. And uh, she's just been hiding from him. But her name is Baby Girl. She's a fat cat. Oh, my God. But she's fixed. Hey, girl. If he was up, I would bring her out because she's so fluffy. Like, she's... She's almost two. She's a year and ten months. But she's cute. Let me show get a picture. Yeah. Cause uh she I got her at PetSmart. Um she was there for almost a month. She was there for three weeks. And it kind of like fake because when I first saw her the first check always um we get paid, it always goes towards rent and bills. And then, you know, this is the yesterday when we went we got paid again. And I'm like, oh my god, it's it's fake because she's still there. And the lady was saying that, you know, a lot of people have actually came and looked at her. But um, no one's taken her. And she's so sweet. She's, she's, oh my god, she's sweet. But I wish I had the picture of the little sign that was on, on her thing because it says, I'm an independent cat. Um, I'll let you hold me until you know kind of like i don't want to be held no more but this is the picture she actually just rolled over but she's so fluffy i'm gonna see if i can get her out that'll be my goal i'll be back <laughs> okay so i got her out finally and this is baby girl that was the name she came with hi honey she keeps having to hide from ed because he's an ass this is the first I've actually gotten to hold her in a while. And you better behave, I'll rip your balls off myself. <laughs> she is hissing at Ed. I know you don't like Ed. Ed, go. Don't be a pain in the ass, please. And it's because when I go try and get her, Ed wants all my attention. Only because I'm trying to give it to another cat. Are you really gonna growl at me? Well, calm down, baby. I got you. I mean, no kitty ain't gonna get you. Oh, you're looking for him, I know. Baby, don't growl at me. Well, I don't think you're growling at me, but... Go hide. Hey, Ed, I'll, I'll kill you. Ed, come here. Ow! Ow! Oh, I'll be back. Damn, she almost kicked his ass. Now she's growling at him. Ed, you better leave her alone, otherwise she's gonna kill you. <laughs> you can still hear her growling. Oh my god. I don't um I know I had her in my room last night and um Oh my god. Uh I had Ed locked out of the room and he was not happy because that's where he sleeps. He sleeps with us. And I was just making sure they didn't fight at next time. Ugh. I don't care. Oh yeah, I get these stupid alerts. Like, and of course it's not stupid because it's an it was an amber alert. But uh, the, the ch it, oh my god! One time I was in the bathroom and I heard that go off. I'm like, oh, what is that? Because my phone was all the way in the living room. I'm like, oh my god! I ho uh, is there someone in my house? Like, what's going on? But oh, my god, I hope they better get along. But um, I'm giving Ed like a week because he's been a pain in the butt anyways and uh i'm just gonna give him some time to like cool the fuck off hopefully he'll get better because i really don't want to get rid of him but he's been pooping all over the house not in the litter box at all and it drives me nuts but that's all i'm gonna do for today um i was just really excited about the whole hunger games uh movie and i really wanted to show it off and everything and um so I will talk to you guys later.